But Atlantis will be displayed looking like she's in space, uh, 150 yards uh, just departed from the International Space Station. So really seen as only the astronauts have seen Atlantis. Uh, she's been lifted up 30 feet in the air, uh, tilted at a so that she'll appear to be at a 43.21 degree angle. Well, it's which the uh, yeah, yeah it's, we got some people who understood that. All right, and then uh, payload bay doors open. Then uh, also a Canada arm will be a part of this display as well. Behind Atlantis, and you'll see this when we go inside, is a really cool high def um, uh, uh, screen that is going to show a continuing shot of. of <laughs> that's throwing me off. <laughs> A continuing shot of Andrea. No, uh, of um, scenes from space. But this initial one, when you come out of the the uh, show, uh, you'll see more of this this sunrise over Earth happening. And then this will evolve. You'll see satellites flowing through. So it will continue to move. And inside, uh, when we go in, you'll see working lights. But on opening day, it will be th more theatrical lights. So really highlighting Atlantis and showing all of the best qualities. Uh, so that it's a uh, multi-level viewing. I wanted to also speak a little bit once you're inside. It's telling the story of the International Space Station as well as the Hubble Space Telescope. Two of the big uh, uh, you know, success stories of the space shuttle program. In here you can see Atlantis again and nearby is a full-scale model of the Hubble Space Telescope. It is going to be suspended from the ceiling and you know, the size of a small bus. On the lower level, it will be about 10 feet up and will also continue to the upper level. So amazing viewing of the Hubble Space Telescope. Yeah, there will be a Hubble theater where you can see amazing imagery from the Hubble Space Telescope and all kinds of things to do on this floor. And you start to get this sense of the, the lighting and the kind of atmosphere it's going to create. You might, in fact, feel like you're in space because that's what we're trying to create. The floor is black. Uh, the ceiling is black. We've taken a lot of, of care into how all of this will happen. Um, downstairs, there will be, there are, all total, there are more than 60 interactive exhibits and simulators. Um, so that's a little bit on that. And then I want uh, a little bit on the outside and we'll head out on our tour. The outside, as you can see, we've got solid rocket boosters coming and soon an external tank to be created. Uh, we, on the other side of the building, as you were driving in, you could have, you should have seen this. It's this orange swish. That is to represent the fiery re-entry of the shuttle coming back to Earth. And you'll also notice gray and black sections along it. Looks reminiscent of tiles. tiles, the heat tiles. And on the corner here you can't really see it here but it looks like the edge of a wing of the wing to just right back here. The like the reinforced carbon carbon reinforced carbon carbon so we're going to take a walk over you'll see on the srbs that the last section that we're going to complete is the aft skirt and that's because we're using those as an entry point to go up and work inside as we uh, secure each section we've got the nose cone to go on the the uh, west side srb and then a third segment and then the nose cone that'll be installed. Hopefully the nose cones go in next week. Are any plumbing sections? No. These are all uh, these are all made specially. Right. Uh, high fidelity models. High fidelity and they were made by Penwall in California. They do this type of thing. We also they're supported by I think it's fifty four uh, pieces of rebar that go deep like fifty feet into the ground on each section of the solid rocket booster. And that is to secure it, and uh, as far as hurricane proofing, yeah. the whole building is hurricane proof. But you can everything can withstand a Category Three hurricane. So, and for the ET and the SRB segments, that's really important. What we're looking at there is providing a very secure structure so that there's no twisting, because uh, that's what can happen here on the East Coast. Here's all those winds. It's a day-long <laughs> process. And they will they will cut sections, uh, pre-cut sections of Atlantis, uh, of the, the the plastic wrap, not Atlantis itself, but the plastic wrap. That's goodness. It's uh, protecting Atlantis, and we put this plastic wrap on because it is a construction site. Lots of dust and things going on. Next, early next week, we will clean off. We've been cleaning areas inside Atlantis. Uh, we just finished the flooring. We will even clean the plastic covering, obviously. 
to remove any any dirt or debris that's on that uh, in prior in preparation for the unveiling of Atlantis construction. As you can see down below, you're seeing what we call stick construction. So the two middle sections of the external tank will be constructed here first. Then we have a prefabricated top and bottom. The top will go on first, bottom on last. The uh, idea is to create, you're seeing this icon right off the bat that is already preparing you for what you're about to see, Atlantis, the most amazing icon. Uh, the top of the external tank will reach 184 feet high. So we are changing the skyline here at Kennedy Space Center. And it's a very cool view from, I guess we'll walk in and then they will take this ramp up. We're not able to walk in this area today, but take this ramp up and they'll overlook the external tank and solid rocket booster. And then in the distance, they will also see the rocket garden. So a neat view there. All right. So here's the Atlantis. This is uh, 16,000 square feet of plastic wrap, if you will. <laughs> Now, is this any kind of plastic wrap that we might be familiar with, like in some other sense? On a boat, yacht, for oh, transportation. Shrink wrap. Yeah. And it was shrink wrapped on. Now, with the payload bay door opening, we have modified strong backs on the payload bay doors. We've got C clamps to attach to those strong backs, and we will. Um, we will suspend the, we will have connections to the ceiling to suspend the payload doors. So they'll hook, it'll hook and be supported from the ceiling. You're, what you're hearing is the shuttle launch experience. This used to be shuttle plaza and shuttle launch experience still exists. We've changed the entry around for now, but it will be the entry once Atlantis opens will be from inside this building. So the two will be tied together. They're basically, yes. that's, that's Isn't actually, it great? That's yeah. a good idea. It makes sense. It does make sense. Uh, and also note that the views of Atlantis are amazing, and you'll see shortly how close you can get in certain, at certain times. It's, it's just remarkable to be this close to an orbiter and to be able to look at one as if it's in flight. That big video monitor that I mentioned is in the back, very high def. And we're showing imagery that, that most people haven't seen before. So it's some stuff that's been shot, especially for this project. This augmented reality, there will be a few stations here where you'll see the shuttle be able to press and uh, it will peel away the outside of the shuttle orbiter and you'll be able to see inside the cockpit, or see inside the flight deck. Is it something on. fixed? They won't something that's not, you're not moving it around. You're not look. moving it around. It's fixed, but you can. You can move it, and once you're oh, in the cockpit, okay. you can okay. do a 180. We'd, you know, we're, we've been cleaning the walls and getting the dust down, painting mm -hmm. the we built the walls, painting the walls, uh, the floor uh, down below. It's this um, certain type of concrete that's been polished five times to mm. give it a very high gloss finish. Mm -hmm. uh, so that you, you've got a lot of dust that's generated just yeah. from the construction process. So we're. We've had to get to this point, and now we're cleaning. We can take that up, and we know we've got a month to get the payload bay doors open. There's a lot of stuff that starts happening now. This, every day, there's something, it just, it's remarkable how quickly this building's come together. But there will be the graphics installation, the uh, interactive exhibits, uh, the Hubble uh, model is gonna take quite a while to assemble and put together, so cool. Thanks. The support structures you hear, you see here, when we moved Atlantis in on November 2nd, we started the lifting process, moved the OTS out that transported the shuttle over. Uh, then we got Atlantis to a certain height and, and put these beams in and attached them to what was already being used as an attachment point for the external tank or right on the 747. So we haven't done anything to change Atlantis. Uh, once we were lifted and tilted, we, those beams were much longer and we uh, shortened them up. Those are going to be painted this midnight blue color and uh, you can also see down here uh, the beanie cap from 39B is here. Ooh. So, so artifacts will be, that's the original one. And if you saw in the lobby, you may have noticed uh, what looked like a slide, mm -hmm. and then the beanie cap next to it, and, and it has this way of displaying the uh, liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen mo mo uh, molecules on the on the floor. They can be kicked around and moved, and the, the idea is the kids can 
uh, create enough uh, friction, that, or you know, it's bringing those liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen molecules together to create a lot. Mm. So they're learning about science and technology, engineering and mathematics in a really fun, cool way. And it's, it's throughout the exhibit. Is it going to be just one direction people come in and they follow a flow through, or is it going to be it's, free They'll flow? come in from a show, and then from there, it's up to them how they want to move around. Okay. The International Space Station Gallery will be down below us. You're seeing the, the edge of that. Uh, you'll be able to see where the ISS is, what's going on in the mission at the time. I, on the upper level, we will have a screen that shows uh, it. Uh, and it's an interactive screen where you can learn about each of the 135 space shuttle missions. You can touch on it, find out about the mission, the astronauts, payload. Uh, you can learn about each individual astronaut, so it'll go in depth. So it's for someone who wants to learn a little, there are plenty of beautiful pictures and graphics. Uh, for those who want to go in depth, you just start looking more closely and you'll see more and more information. We have some STEM facts that are going to be called out, some space geek facts that are called out. Uh, and it's, you know, this experience could be an hour, it could be several hours, depending again on what your interest level is and how in depth you want to go. We will tell the story. And this is not only about the, and the thing is about this too, is that it's about the 30 year space shuttle program, but it's also about the benefits of the space shuttle program. You've got Hubble, International Space Station. From here, speaking of International Space Station, we'll have these circular tubes, they're clear, and kids and adults will be able to crawl out in them, and it gives them a feeling of, whoa, I'm somewhere cool, and <laughs> reminiscent of the International Space Station. It'll actually take them out from this level, and they can look down into the International Space Station gallery. There we'll have a full-scale mock-up of, of a module from the International Space Station. Uh, down, also sprinkled throughout is a lot of information about the processing that took place here at Kennedy Space Center uh, from landing to launching. And as well, it's a tribute to the future of, of space exploration. From each program, we learn more and more. And through Atlantis and through Space Shuttle Atlantis, we'll be able to tell that story. Uh, the facility is $100 million or so. Uh, we, and by the way, this all belongs to NASA not to Delaware North Companies that operates the visitor complex on behalf of NASA. Uh, it is created with funds that are a result of admissions, uh, foods, and retail. So no tax dollars are involved in the creation of the exhibit or the interactives. And Atlantis is still dirty. We wanted her that way. You could get her cleaned up. We said, no, we want to show the effects of space flight on the tiles. And, and you can see those nicks and Cooler. It is, it yeah. is. June 29th is going to be an amazing day in Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex history as we open uh, Space Shuttle Atlantis. This is the agency's orbiter, NASA's orbiter, and we are going to have a great time honoring uh, the Space Shuttle program and the workers, and there will be a great celebration behind that on June 29th.